Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Game Maker for Beginners. In this week's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily take your game that you've got in Game Maker and create a workable PC application from it. So a standalone file that we could play without the need for Game Maker. Um, this is useful for if you want to put it on Steam or Desura or IndieDB. Um, so if you want to distribute your game. Now we've got our project open from the last few weeks. Okay, let's just open here. I've done everything I want to do to it. I'm now ready to make a standalone. So, yeah, close that down. What we need to do is, with our project open, go to File and then click Create Application. And if we give that a click, it'll come up with some options. Under File Name, name, name it something that makes sense to you. So I'm going to call this um, Ian's uh, Modern Modern Call of Shooter Dutiness. And I'm going to call it V1, okay, and that means version 1. And it will just help me later on if I had more features and I decided to export another version. It will help me keep track of version 1 was this feature. Now, we've got several options. And the one we want for today is an installer, which means we can install it on a PC. So we want a Windows NSYS installer. So set that and click Save. And just like it normally would, it will now compile our game at the bottom here in a second. And it's as simple as that. Oh, unless it says not responding. There we go. We can see it's kicked in. Down here it's starting to work. And this should be over fairly quickly, as it's quite a small game. And we can see the computer working. And there we go. That's it. Compile finished. 1427, which is now. So now we should have the game done. And here we go. We can see it here. Ian's modern call of shooter dutiness. If I give that a double click, okay, it'll load up and it will come up with a standard license agreement. We click it, I agree. We've now got options, installing options for start menu shortcuts, desktop shortcuts, DirectX install, we'll click next. And we'll click install, and there we go. It's as simple and quick and easy as that. So there you go. If you want to export your game as a work in exe file, then there you go. Right, I'll leave you guys to export your games so you can take them home and, and show friends and family and play them with each other in the class. And there we go, there's.